Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm Rudy McLennan coming to you from Glasgow, Scotland. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. Taking personal responsibility for failures in handling clerical abuse in Germany, Cardinal Reinhard Marx of Munich Freising Archdiocese has submitted his resignation to Pope Francis. In a letter addressed to the Holy Father, which was posted on the Archdiocesan website, Cardinal Marx said that he has been contemplating resignation for the past year. The prelate made it clear that investigations and reports of clerical abuse of the past decade have consistently shown that there have been many personal failures and administrative mistakes, and he also admitted that overlooking and disregarding the victims was certainly the greatest fault of the past. Submitting his resignation as a personal signal for a new beginning, for a new awakening of the Church not only in Germany, Cardinal Marx said that he would continue his pastoral duty until Pope Francis decides otherwise. Pope Francis expressed grief over the massacre of innocent people in Burkina Faso and prayed for the souls of victims during the Angelus on Sunday, June the 6th. On the night between Friday and Saturday, armed men laid siege to the village of Solhan in the northeastern part of the nation, plagued by jihadi outfits, and killed 132 people, including seven children. The Holy Father said he is close to the victims and their families, who are suffering greatly from repeated attacks. The government has announced 72 hours of mourning, calling the attack the biggest militant assault in recent years. In spite of the presence of UN peacekeeping troops in the Sahel region of Africa, attacks on innocent people by jihadi outfits linked to the Islamic State are on the rise. During Corpus Christi Mass in St. Peter's Basilica on Sunday, June the 6th, the Holy Father focused on three images from the Gospel of Mark that was read during the liturgy. The first image of a man carrying a water pitcher who led the disciples to the cenacle is an exhortation to recognise the thirst for God and the necessity to partake of the food and drink of eternal life. Pope Francis said the second image of the upper room in which God made himself tiny like a piece of bread stands for the need to open up hearts and enter the vast space of wonder and adoration of God's boundless love. The pontiff referred to the third image of Christ breaking the bread as a distinctive manifestation of our faith, where we encounter the Lord. Bishop Felipe Esteves of the Diocese of St. Augustine in the United States has urged believers to oppose the move to repeal the Hyde Amendment. The amendment prohibits the use of federal funds for abortion except in cases of rape, incest or to save the mother's life. In a letter issued on June the 4th, the prelate urged the faithful to sign a petition saying no taxpayer funds should be used for abortions and to send it to Congress. Bishop Esteves has expressed concern over the administration's plans to repeal the Hyde Amendment and other pro-life protections in the federal budget. Because of the Hyde Amendment, since 1976 nearly 2.5 million babies and mothers experiencing difficult circumstances have been saved from the tragedy of abortions. The lead bishop for life issues of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of England and Wales has extended support for ending DIY home abortions. Bishop John Sherrington reiterated the call to end home abortions in a statement as MP Carla Lockhart tabled an early day motion highlighting the inherent risks of such procedures on women's health and safety. The Department of Health and Social Care recently held a public consultation on whether the temporary policy to permit at-home abortion should become permanent. Marking the Catholic Church's opposition and calling on the faithful to voice their opposition through their lawmakers, Bishop Sherrington referred to a letter from 600 medical professionals pointing out the fatal consequences of abortions done at home. Pope Francis has appointed Archbishop Ivan Jurkovic as the Apostolic Nuncio to Canada. Archbishop Jurkovic succeeds Archbishop Luigi Bonazzi, who was appointed the new Nuncio of Albania in December of last year. Archbishop Jurkovic had been serving as the permanent observer of the Holy See to the Office of the United Nations and specialised institutions in Geneva and the World Trade Organisation since 2016. He was the Holy See's representative to the International Organisation for Migration. Born in Kocevje in southern Slovenia, he was ordained a priest in 1977. Monsignor Jurkovic entered the diplomatic service of the Holy See in 1984. He was appointed titular Archbishop of Kurbava and Apostolic Nuncio to Belarus by Pope St. John Paul II in 2001. An Italian nun who was killed in a satanic ritual was declared blessed on Sunday, June the 6th at Chiavenna in northern Italy.
Sister Maria Laura Mainetti was a member of the Daughters of the Cross congregation and she was murdered by three teenage girls in a satanic ritual on June the 6th in 2000. The beatification ceremony also marked her 21st death anniversary and it was presided over by Cardinal Marcello Semeraro, the prefect of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. On June the 19th of last year, the Holy Father had authorised a decree announcing Sister Maria Laura Mainetti, a martyr killed in hatred of the faith. During the Sunday Angelus at St Peter's Square, Pope Francis praised her forgiveness, even at her last moments, as an inspiration to do every little thing with faith, love and enthusiasm. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us again tomorrow. In the meantime, you can visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.